you have any favorite movies? Happy Feed, Madagascar 3, and movies like that. What made you want to go in and audition for this? The things that you probably need different people. Do you remember what they had you do when you went in? They had me acting like a grown lady trying to tell the little boy, one of the producers, he was out there, one of the producers, Michael, and I had to tell him to get up and fix his breakfast, but he wouldn't get up, so he asked me to fix his own breakfast, and I told him, no, get up on your own two feet and fix your own breakfast. Is that what you would make someone do in real life? <laughs> yes. What was it like when you found out that you were going to get the part and you were going to get to be in this big movie? Were you really excited? Yes. Did you do anything fun to celebrate? No, I just got on the computer. I just got back on the computer. You like the computer a lot? Yes, that's my favorite thing. What do you do on the computer? Play games. What kind of games? Monkey games. Now you can go on the computer and you can Google yourself and you'll have a nice IMDb page up there. I know. <laughs> can you tell me about what it was like on set? Were you busy all the time? Yes. So busy that I never even got to like do tutoring things. Because uh -oh. I, had, I had a tutor that was always there who would help me read because that was during the school year. Did you get any time to just relax and have fun? Yes. That was that was during the tutoring and the breaks. I wish I was doing this again. <laughs> you want to shoot a movie again? Yes, I love shooting. What was what was the best part about shooting this movie? I got to meet people that were close to my age. That I got along with. Ben did some rehearsals with you before you guys went to set and started shooting the movie, but what did he do while you were on set? When he said cut, did he give you any notes about your performance? Well, yes, but it was just like supportive, like just saying, I just want you to like do that faster. No, I just want you to go slower. No, I just want you to be like in a happy mood. And like before the whole scene starts, he would just tell me what it's about. And then after, he would tell me about it again. What do you think it is that makes Hush Puppy such a special character? Because she's a brave and fearless girl. Do you think you guys are similar in that way? Yes. <laughs> I think that's probably why he picked you, because he saw some of her qualities in you too, right? Yes. He said I was fearless, like a warrior. Are you fearless? Not afraid of the dark or anything? No. Not afraid? But I would like to have a nightlight. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> was there anything on set that was scary to do? Touching the pig, facing the aurochs, and that's it. I'm, a, I'm afraid of pigs. I don't like pigs. The first, that was like the first thing they made me do. But the aurochs was at the end. That was the first, I'm, I was a skate. I was, I, I didn't, I, I, yeah, I was just afraid of pigs that moment. Well, what's they, a pig gonna do to you? Like, I'm afraid of bees, but a bee's gonna sting me. Because, like, the pig was like, Hairy, black, and big, and fat, and everything else that I could think of. And it was just like, it was asleep. But if I put my head on it, it wakes up and it gobbles me down. And I didn't want to do that, so I just put my hand on it. So you must be really afraid of the aurochs then, because it's like a big pig. Yes. It's a pig and a cow mixed together. Was there anything about making movies and movie magic that you really surprised you? You get to meet different people that that's probably close to your age. Is it fun to step out of your shoes for a while and into somebody else's? Yes. What other kinds of characters would you want to play? The same one I'm playing now and I would always like to stay with the company or as I say the family core 13. Then we need a whole series of Hush Puppy movies. Mm -hmm. Yes! Your, your very own franchise. 